Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am going to explain you about fixed gas detection system for ballast tank. And I will also tell you how to connect and disconnect your individual ballast tank sampling line. Uh, I will also show you what is there inside the panel, which is there in the foam room, which contain your vacuum pump and solenoid wall and all PCB cards with wiring diagram. So let's start. So guys, this is the gas reduction system for ballast tanks. All these are sampling points and these are the symbols for, symbols for alarm, low failure, flow failure, disabled. So right now the system is off. I'll show you what alarm I am getting. So once you switch on, it will show like this. Okay. And the version warming up and I'm getting this buzzer it says main pump high current so it is like shut down low current so with this button you can do buzzer stop accept and reset this is buzzer this power restore lamp test once you press this you can see and this is the on off switch hope it will be flickering because only one sampling point is open so guys if you want to disconnect or connect any of the sampling line what you have to do you have to put this in manual mode and then you have to turn this up and down to select which one you want like right now you can see only five is not flickering so number five is selected now so what you can do you, if you press this connection control you can see channel disabled in automatic mode so number five is disabled now to make it enable just press one channel uh, enable in automatic mode so now number five is selected you turn it clockwise upside now you'll see number six is selected okay now number six is selected and number six is the only one which is not blinking when you press channel six is enabled in automatic mode so same like this you can if you put it down it will go again to five you can see now number five so if you put it up it will go to number six so right now i am connecting all the tanks so i'll go on number seven connection channel 11 in automatic mode four seven i'll go on eight i will connect this channel 11 automatic mode number eight same i will do for all the tanks number 10 also so like this you can do connect and disconnect all your uh, sampling point so uh, I'm doing it last now means I'm going to reach all the tanks now I have to connect number 24 24 is enabled now okay now I go to 25 and 25 is not flickering i will click enable now to disable just press once more i'll go to 26 the last one 26 and you press channel enable in automatic mode 26 so all are connected now so you are done now what you have to do if you want to purge you have to turn it up if you want to take sample manually if you want to do something then you have to put in manual and do whatever the operation you want to do now everything i have done so i'll put it in automatic mode so now it says emptying manifold starting from number one tank so with no alarm it is running right now and now in automatic mode what it will do it will first is going to purge all the sampling line let's say if it has selected number one then it is going to pause this and after one minute of purging it is going to take sample so like this it is going to purge all the tank and it will keep on repeating from number one it will go to number two number three number four so after 27 it again repeats to number one so like this cycle repeats and high alarm it is indicated like this flow failure is yellow and disabled is active 
your hc is low at 10 percent high at 30 percent flashing green indicator means tank isolated now no one is flashing so you can see all are connected now if you are selecting if you're doing any connection control here you have to manually go and open the handle so two things you have to do this is it it's very easy so guys if you want to do purging like this i have selected manual then i have selected purge you can see here manual mode purging channel number four so number four is getting purged now so before connecting any tank you have to purge it and then put in normal automatic mode so right now number five is manual mode purging channel purge just selected number five is purging so if you want to change from number five to number six what you have to do you have to select it and then what you do you have to turn up so from up it will go from five it will go to number six and you can then switch it to purge mode now you can see manual mode purging channel number six number six if you want to see what is inside inside this cabinet just use your key and then you can see electronic cards okay this is 2224 and supply to this pcb breaker filter and some fuses and relay connection so this is it in this cabinet so i will close this uh, most of the time you will not find problem with this only you will find problem downside so guys uh, this is the cabinet which is there in the foam room inside you will see all uh, pump unit all pcb cards uh, you can see this is the detector cabinet and this is the complete unit on top you will see this is for the exhaust fan you can see fan is there and it will be running when the system right now the system is stopped because i was in plan to change this motor because i am having some problem so the new unit is there so i will change this in the next video i will try to share you what alarm and the problem which i faced uh, so finally we have to change this so right now i just want to tell you what things are there and how it works so all these are solenoid valve for different sampling points and this is the PCB card, this is the flow meter, power supply unit, all cards are there. And this is also sampling point solenoid walls. So there are multiple uh, sampling points. You can see here HC sensor is there. Okay. This is a small vacuum pump. You can see sample vacuum pump here. And this is the big one which takes suction from ballast tanks. So it's a big one so that it can take it from forward to aft. So these are the wall manually open and manually closed. So these walls you have to open. When the ship is loaded, you have to open it. So you can see sampling points and you can see the numbers. Water ballast tank, port, starboard, port, starboard, port, starboard, one, two, three, four. Okay, down also you will see four, five, six, four peak tank upper void. Okay, the other side, let's see other side, this side also you will see so many walls are there and all these connections, you can see here, this connection running from behind and this connection, all these are going where to deck. So here, water ballast tank, port starboard, port starboard number 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, four peak tanks. So right now all these are closed. So these solenoid walls, once they operate, you have to select uh, which one, which sampling point to open or close. Once you give the command, mm, these solenoid wall will activate and it will the it will connect with this pump. It will connect with this pump so what will do this motor will take suction from that unit so that sampling line will be come in process 
so again let's say these three are running so first this storm will come and after a sampling for one or two minutes this will get stop and then again uh, this second one turn will come it will take sample for one or two minutes again it will stop and then this three so at a time it will take sample for one unit only and uh, the other will be shut so all these things are done by this PCB cards and they are like uh, in a process so using the manual I will explain you the other things so guys uh, this is the pneumatic diagram of gas sampling system so here uh, you can see here these are these are solenoid wall electrically operated you can see 27 walls are there and these are the sampling line which is coming from the wall wall and your these are your flame arrester so once your ball valve is open it goes to this manifold we have two manifolds you can see here two manifolds are there one manifold is having two sections one is sample section and the other one is suction section so suction section is controlled by your main pump you can see here main pump is there so suction suction is controlled by main pump and your sample suction is controlled by your sampling pump so what happened let's say this solenoid valve is uh, operated so what we'll do this vacuum pump this vacuum pump will uh, it will take suction and it will fill this manifold with the sample of this particular ballast tank and when this solenoid wall energizes it will the air will pass through this sampling pump and it will go to the SC sensor and then from here both are going to exhaust it will be somewhere outside the uh, accommodation so like this uh, the function take place and this is the calibration gas you can put the knob in calibration and you can do the uh, calibration using your butane gas so this is very simple and uh, you have to do these two manifolds are there with solenoid wall which I have shown you in the cabinet so like this uh, it works so when it is normally running you never flow and your both motor will be running So guys this is all about in this video I hope you have liked it so in my next video I am going to show you the gas system which is installed for the pump room so do like and subscribe